Chad, get off your phone, man. Bro, why? I got to text Bay, keep her happy. Bros before Bay, man. Bros before Bay. Dude, it's it's almost Halloween. Let's just enjoy the atmosphere. Yeah, for real. Yeah, bro time. I got you. Let me put the phone away. Gotta finish texting her, okay? Lord, man. Damn motherfuckers act like I can't walk and text. I'm doing it just fine. Hey, what up, Ron? Hey, what's up, man? I'm just chilling with the boys, you know, they're talking shit. Being stupid as usual. I got this cabin booked, you know, we'll be recording for uh, some a few episodes there. When are we leaving? So 8 o'clock tomorrow. Tomorrow? Alright, cool. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the boys back to the crib, we'll pack up, and uh, we'll see you in the morning then, man. Cool. Alright, man, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, man. <laughs> see you, bro. Going to a cabin for a week. Lights, good. Cool. Uh, camera, good. Cool. You got extra clothes? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, guys, leave in 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. You got the audio stuff, the audio gear? Yeah, good. All the chargers? Good. We got food in there? Not enough. But we're good. Steven, a girlfriend? Sure. <laughs> we can yeah, never okay. find We'll work those. on that when we get there. Yeah. Alright, I think we're good though. I think we got everything. Something just different about you. What? You know, <laughs> you know I think it's because he's not on his phone. That is it. At least I can get a girlfriend, man. <gasps> Boy. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, Ryan. When's the last time you had a girlfriend? <laughs> I got the keys. Here we go, y'all. We're here. Yeah, so we're here for a week, right, y'all? Yeah, that's right. Cool. Oh, hell no. Cool kind of house when we get for Halloween. Go take it down, man. But damn, shit. We got the manager. This shit ain't cool. Just tie to the beam. Yeah, we need to yeah, take this down, take it to the manager. This ain't cool. This so is no. Well, besides that wonderful housewarming gift, it's a pretty cool cabin, two rooms. It'd be pretty good for the podcast. I don't know what about that gift was pretty housewarming, but you know, it's a pretty dope cabin. Yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. I like the details of it. It's folksy, real folksy. You know? Just grab that jacuzzi. Hold up, what is that? Hey, you got that jacuzzi, bro. Woo! Oh shit! Hit my cabin. Oh, and we got a t oh, we got the full monkey. All we missing is the bitches. Hey, I'm gonna need a few ladies here. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, this is definitely my room. We got a pool table. We got the foosball.
Yo, what's up? This is Chad Clinton. Welcome to another episode of our podcast. I'm Chad, as you already know. And I'm Q. What's up? Today we're going to talk a little bit about sports. Q's got a quick shout out for us, though. I don't know. Shout yeah. out to the Kansas City Royals oh, doing their thing out there with that World Series. Bo Nose doing a nigga proud. All right. Oh, man. Bo Nose. That's a throwback right there. Hey, Bo. Hey. Bo Jackson is real. Leading off of that, this episode is just about sports. We're just getting a quick rundown of what's going on so sports, far. Sports, uh, sports, You know, Lakers, man. That, that team looks good on paper every year, but they never do anything. Well, Kobe's like a dust bucket at this point. Yeah, Co- uh, Kobe ain't shit, but they still relying on him like yeah. that. I'm waiting for him to be on d Rose status every time we go for a layup. That knee came in. Okay, that was a little violent. He, uh, today he said he's the suckiest player in the NBA, which we all know isn't true, but... You know, he's a little, he's falling off a little bit. The Lakers are falling off. I will tell you everything about basketball you ever want to know. Spitty. You know my team is Cleveland. Preach. You know we're going to go to that championship. You know Preach. we're going to, I see we're going to play Thunder. You know, I want to see Kevin Durant, LeBron match it up again, go back to back. Uh, shout out to Drake. I see LeBron and the Cavs winning it 4-2, get, winning it in six against the Thunder, man. And I don't see any other way around it. What you got? You know what? I'm piggybacking off of that because I also think Cleveland will take it. And I... Also think the Thunder is going to go back with it. Cleveland's going to take that. I know for a fact Cleveland's going to take okay. it. LeBron ready for to bring the Cavs that championship. I want to give it to the Thunder, but Cleveland out there doing that thing, and Durant still ain't found the right solution. Ah, you know? yeah, yeah. He got that foot injury. Cause back from that. Yeah. And West, Westbrook can't carry the team by himself. I mean, he he can take them pretty far, but he can't carry them all the way. Yeah. Can't have that. Cleveland has never had a ring, and LeBron's got to bring one to his hometown, man. Exactly. It's it's kind of like a best of both worlds. Like oh, yeah. I, I'd be happy either way. Like if that happened, if that mythological baby happened, Look I want to see that shit grow. Oh, oh man, right. surprising. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Carolina, man? Cam Newton, Fuck man. Me. I didn't expect him to be as good as he is. Honestly, I didn't it's expect it. It's not it's not Carolina Panthers. No. It's Cam Newton Panthers. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, uh, y'all y'all send us in a question and ask us to make a couple predictions for the seasons in football and basketball. So. Uh, I'll let you make your first prediction for the Super Bowl. I'll let you go. All right. Bowl prediction. Throwing it out there. Who that nation? Saints taking it. Ooh, that's a little out of nowhere. It, it, it's coming out of left field, but... I'm going you know, I'm to I'm jump he's gonna, off the bandwagon real quick. He's going to sneak behind. He's going to sneak up, and then boom, out of nowhere. Bye. Like, who that? <laughs> who that I'm nation? Gonna go, I'm going to go Cam Newton Panthers. I just, I don't know. At it's some it's point, not going to happen, but... At I some point, it. he has to fall off. At some point, he has to fall off. Right. I love him to death, but you know, at some point I that agree, that racket's gonna I just want roll something off. Exciting new, because the teams don't have to figure out how to stop the Panthers' offense. They have to figure out how to stop Cam, and once that's figured out, some of those teams will pick up on it. There. Oh yeah, and then boom. Well, all right, y'all. We're at this cabin for a week. We'll have a few more podcasts coming up for you. Halloween's in a couple days, so we'll shoot you one then too, and probably tomorrow night. So we'll keep you updated. Thanks and always, Chad and Q podcast. Keep us up. Do, do, do it. Woo! Hey guys, come here real quick, check this out. What's up, y'all? What's up, boy? What you got? Hey, we're going. Hey, right? check it out. Uh, but it's only could be better than that, I guess, I guess. But no one's written it for, what, 11 years? No fool? Yeah. No way stayed here? I, I have no idea. Nothing? Nothing. All the way through? I mean, that's pretty creepy. Know. I mean, how many? Yeah, I, I mean, how many people you think actually use this though? I mean, I mean, I mean you think in eleven years it'd be at least yeah. one person. 
Uh, with the perversion of the year. Hey, hold on. This first one's a little weird. This is the October 29th of 04. While I was sleeping around midnight, I kept hearing things downstairs. Don't go down there. That just sounds something cheesy. Though. That sounds like <laughs> yeah, a family. Yeah, just probably, like, probably some that sounds like some little kids. Man. Yeah. And then the next day, the I'll next day, downstairs. the Smith family. Yeah. Ain't nothing it's probably little kids, man. Hey, Ryan, I want you to go ahead and do some research, though. See, yeah. see if anybody's like previously stayed here. Yeah, yeah. 11 years not that. in this cabin? Yeah, yeah I mean, this bound to be. Close down and close open back Let me get some of these names from this book. Yeah, this bound to be like and some just, online reviews. Just keep the history, son. Yeah. All right, what's happening, folks? We're back to another episode of Chad and Q up here at the cabin. What's up? Day three. You know, we're trying to get some good topics for y'all. We're just taking in some shots, you know, some mail, listening. Y'all want to talk about music? Uh, that's fine. We, li- we <laughs> dig some tunes. We get down and funky up in here. Favorite rapper, g Easy, White Boy from the Bay. His second album called When It's Dark Out drops on December 8th. Straight fire. He's all of them are on iTunes. All of them are getting big on the charts. Straight fire. He's coming out with some new album, man. I can't wait. Straight fire. You know, when I first heard of him, I didn't know he was a white guy. Man, he don't. He does, he's got. He's flows, man. He just goes and goes. He's got. You know, I, I thought. I thought he was just another startup of a singing nigga. But no, turns out he's not a nigga at all. <laughs> and y'all already know the biggest man in the game. He Speaking kills, of singing niggas, he kills rappers left and right. Drake. Rip Meek. Yeah, Continue. he got, he got killed. This is my song for Meek Mill's career. Every Drake song is fire. Most of y'all hate on him, bandwagon, whatever. I think he's good. Every song of his hits hard. They're real. Views from the Six is just going to be another great album. It's whatever. Let, let, let me get honest with you real quick. You know, I wasn't a Drake fan until Marvin's Room. After that, I was. Because all his first stuff, I was my, my first real Drake song was HYFR with Lil Wayne. That just kind of hit me. I just like I, I still wasn't a really big fan of that song either. I was like, mm. I was still bullshitting on Drake, but you know, uh, he he yeah, more, You know, he, I think everybody hates on him because he he kills the game. He's done you know, everything. You know, everybody started hating on him whenever I started liking him. Ain't that some ironic shit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I really got into was forever. Forever. Oh that yeah. Shit, oh, I thought it was a movie. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Ooh yep. boy. But speaking of singing, obviously cool. we listen to a lot of rap, hip hop, but there's one song by one particular. Pretty lady that's taking over the world, taking it by storm. Hello, that's her. Adele with a new song, Hello. It's oh, that's my bae. Hitting everyone. Adele Everyone's is liking it. Dudes named Quentin are liking that song. Adele is bae. Her new hey. album, I'm not sure it's coming out. It's going to be a big one as well. We're working on her back. Glad to see her. She's got a beautiful voice, man. Bottom line, Adele beautiful is bae. Adele is bae. Uh, you okay, know, that's man. really all we got for music. There's not a bunch of stuff going on right now, man. But. You know, in the next couple of days, tomorrow's Halloween. Spooky. You know, we're ready. We're going to get some spooky Halloween going. We're going to bring another... Po- what the... The fuck? My God. Oh, hell no. I'm out. I'm out. Mm-hmm. All right, anyway, you know, whatever. Tomorrow's Halloween. We're going to bring you another spooky podcast. We're going to dress up, do a little mm-hmm. hair and makeup for you. You know, we got to make us look like some pretty boys. We'll be here. Check it in. 7 p.m. We'll see y'all. We out. Bye.
Just want to see what's up. No worries, bro. What about you? Yeah, no, I, I just called uh, Quentin. I uh, just wanted to check in on him and see how he's doing. Uh, you know, would you mind, you know, just giving Steven a call? I mean, you know, just check out on him. You know, just make sure he's all right. Yeah, bro, I'll give him a call here in a second. We'll get off the phone. All right, cool, man. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right? All right, bro. I'll see you, man. Have a good one. All right, peace. kids. Oh! <laughs>